Hello, this is Greg Brzezinski for Beard Brand Alliance. And today I want to talk to you about one of the most controversial issues in men's hair care today. The man bun. There are lots of uh, polarizing issues in today's uh, political culture and in today's society. And one of them, maybe not so serious, happens to be whether the man bun is liked or really disliked. And um, I have to say for uh, personal experience, I have taken it, um, I've seen it from both uh, sides. I posted this uh, post on Instagram. Uh, which was a still from uh, the video that I had created about history of men with long hair. And that post did phenomenally well, like crazy well. Um, I think there's like 18,000 likes on the post, but there's almost 300,000 views of the post. And if you read the comments, um, most of them are very favorable. But then I posted a similar version of that, an outtake from that uh, particular uh, photo set on Facebook, uh, not too recently, and basically, no, 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 no. So what is the difference here? Um, could be the, it's definitely an audience. It's an audience difference from Facebook uh, to an audience on Instagram. Could be an age demographic also, because if I'm looking at the Facebook, they tend to be maybe a little older and women, um, and the people on Instagram tend to be younger and mostly men. Um, or heavily more men, but there seems to be this love-hate relationship with the man bun. Now for me, it's a practical thing. I wear my hair up off of my face, off of my neck, when I want to not be encumbered by hair falling into my face. So at the gym, when I'm doing yard work, um, any kind of physical activity. If I'm out in hiking in a windstorm, if I'm just walking around and I know it's going to be gusty wind uh, like it is often in Center City, Philadelphia, I will pull either my hair up on top of my head or back in a ponytail. Um, it's a practical thing for me. Now, some guys choose to wear it as a style note. Now, it's not to be said that I haven't uh, worn my hair up in a bun like this uh, to get it out of the way, but also as a style note. But I would say 90% of the time, it's a practical thing for me. So back to why is the man bun such a polarizing thing? When you have people on Instagram who are basically saying, yes, love the man bun, cool look, great Greg. And then you have people on Facebook saying, no, don't do that. Why is that? And um, I, I just don't know. I think it, it probably represents, um, when people look at it, it just is saying hipster. And um, I don't know if that's a negative anymore. It might be a little passe uh, for in certain uh, groups of people. Um, but a lot of people just associate uh, a particular look or a particular item of a look with the entire culture and say, nope, don't like it. You know, um, it's, it's over, I don't like it, and uh, I don't like what it stands for or whatever reason. But uh, some people just attach this hairstyle you know, putting your hair up on top of your head, and visible. I think it has to be visible. It's one thing to pull it back and have it out of the way, um, but it's when you pull it up on top of your head, and it's literally on the top of your head, that to me is a man bun. So very polarizing. So I asked some of the people that actually on Facebook uh, commented so, um, you know, pretty vehemently uh, to the no, uh, why they didn't like it. And for the most part, people just preferred my hair down. So people liked seeing the hair long. Now, they might not necessarily like the long hair, but they prefer seeing it down than to seeing it up. So I said, but what if I need a practical way of getting it off of my face? The majority of those people said, wear a ponytail. Just pull it back or tuck it behind your ears or do whatever. You don't have to be making such an expression of a hairstyle by putting it on the top of your head. So a lot of people who um, were really opposed to the man bun um, thought it was a basically a display of style that was unnecessary. So for me, since it's a practical style, they thought wearing a ponytail would be a better way to get my hair up and off of my face. 
So to pull it straight back, put it in a ponytail, rather than having it on the top of my head. So I asked the same question to people on Instagram, what do you like about the man bun, or why did you re uh, respond so favorably to that particular post? And it's just the opposite thing. They like the visual expression of having the hair up on uh, the top of my head. Um, they also thought it wasn't practical to wear your hair down long all the time, and this way it would be practical to get it up off of your head. But they actually liked that it was visible. And I said, well, what's so important about that? They said, it actually says that your hair is long enough that you can actually pull it up on the top of your head and put it in a bun. It just means that you have long hair. So there you go. Two um, schools of thought, two camps. We have the no's over on Facebook. We have the yeses on uh, Instagram. And uh, do those two really meet? Uh, of course, there's people from both camps on either side. You know, I think I had one positive comment on the Facebook post, and there were definitely negative comments on the Instagram post. But uh, I think it's a different uh, difference in demographics. It's also, uh, my Facebook posts um, tend to be with people I know. I have a private account, and they're basically people that I go to church with, people, my neighbors, uh, family, and friends. And uh, they just uh, might know me, or think they know me better. Um, but um, I think it's really, um, they think it might not be my style. So um, those people know that I'm a suit, I wear a suit jacket, I wear a coat uh, and tie typically to work. And so even having long hair is a stretch for some of those people. They prefer, as a whole, my hair short, which I know people across the internet might prefer my hair short. Um, but um, I think because they think they know me better or know me better, um, they see a little bit of a disconnect between a hairstyle that doesn't necessarily fit with a clothing style or what uh, my occupation is. I don't think this is a hairstyle that, is, um, that I wouldn't necessarily wear to work. I probably wouldn't wear my hair up on my head like this with a suit though. So uh, to their point, I guess that is true. On Instagram, I think a lot of people see me, especially in that particular post, I'm wearing a casual outfit and a leather jacket on. It seems to be more fitting with what I'm wearing. So in the end, I think it's um, the, um, the difference here is really um, situational. So if I'm wearing a suit, is what uh, those people responded to. So the people on Facebook, they, you know, they have the same picture. They saw me in a leather jacket with my hair up on the top of my head, but they know that I'm wearing a suit all the time, that I'm a uh, professional guy, that I'm going in front of clients, and I'm not wearing my hair like this. Whereas people on Instagram say, hey, he's wearing a leather jacket, he's probably not going to work, and let him wear his hair like that. Different points of view. So I'm just curious, um, do you, well, a couple of things here. Is the man bun dead? So is long hair dead? I don't know about that. I'm still growing my hair, and we'll see where that ends up uh, probably by summertime. But is the man bun dead? And um, is um, that kind of look a look that you think guys should be sporting today? Um, if you had long hair, do you think you would be wearing your hair like this? Um, very curious to find out. So comment below and uh, tell us if uh, you approve of the man bun. Are you giving it a thumbs up? Are you giving it a thumbs down? And why? Until we meet again. Dude, you want simplicity? Grab the Styling Balm. It's designed for your hair and your beard. It will give a satin finish with a medium hold. No, it's not a conditioning product. It's a styling product. Styling Balm over at beardbrand.com.